I'm in the car. I look a mess. Have you missed me? So I haven't been vlogging consistently since really the first week of May. Um, I do have like some random vlog footage, um, but I'm mostly putting that up um, for patrons on Patreon because it's just not like enough to be a legit vlog. So it's just like some bonus content on Patreon. So, you know, if you would want to see that, you can check out Patreon tiers if you'd like. But hey, hi, hello. It is Monday, June something on my phone so june 4th 5th 6th one of those days and i am in the parking lot to go to the gym very annoyed though because the parking lot closest to the gym is all full so i'm over here oh, it's already hot what is it it's already hot i hate the summer and i can't believe i'm just moving to somewhere even hotter like god damn it i wish we were moving somewhere colder i'm sick of this heat already like i'm so tired of it even though I'm not even predominantly outside, like I'm usually inside, but even just the walk in between the car and wherever is annoying. Anyway, so this week, last week I had a respiratory infection and I am finally over that, thank the Lord. And then I had a respiratory infection Then as I was getting better, I got my period. So I was like, wow. So last week was struggling, um, but I have, I've only finished one book so far this month book and that was the city inside i had an arc from tour.com and i felt really torn about that one i can talk about it later um but i finished that on saturday and currently reading i'm in the middle of a couple things but i'm gonna go into the gym and i'm really just trying to get i feel like i never can be consistent i mean i guess once i move because i won't be in a cool place where I, well let me rephrase that sicily is not a cool place if you don't know <laughs> that's where i live currently and i do not like sicily itself um the location though so they can travel to other places yes and i'm going to be moving back to america at the end of july and i obviously do not want to go so i will have more time to focus on working out i guess because i'll just be in america even though i need to be working out at home because people guns okay so anyway I'm gonna go into the gym i'm just trying to get back in to get some movement in um so i'm probably mostly gonna just walk on the treadmill literally and catch up on comments and like emails and stuff um that's my main thing and then go home this morning i kind of did a little tidying up downstairs and i vacuumed while i was waiting like you know you're supposed to wait like for 15 minutes for your sunscreen so i put my sunscreen on that i was vacuuming and tidying up downstairs so i might just like mop when i get home well clean the ba downstairs bathroom and mop maybe start a little laundry and that'll be like my whole you know my chore for today and then I need to film at least one or two videos and edit at least one. I need to figure out a better schedule because I'm just not good at bulk thinking. I have been filming more videos at once, but then I don't edit more videos at once because editing is, editing is so exhausting. So at least film two videos, edit one today, and then I need to read. Um, I do have a TBR that I have um, that I'm working on and I but I also have a book that I kind of want to read that's not on my DBR. So anyway, I'm trying to get back into my regular vlogs. I paused my like whole decluttering thing before the trip, but I need to get back on it. And I probably won't do like the numbers, but we just have stuff that needs to go um, since we'll be packing our stuff up next month. So anyway, I just wanted a hello intro to this vlog. So let me go into this gym <sighs> because I'm like, will I ever be happy with how I look? I don't think so. It's very unfortunate for me. Hello, you're in my cabinet. Yes, it's a pizza box. I had pizza last night. So I am home early because the gym on base, really on base, I don't get great service, like with my phone. But the gym, it's like nothing, like zero. And so went in, but they I always connect to the Wi-Fi. But Today, going to the gym, they were like having partial power. So some things were powered and some were not. And I guess one of the things that was not powered was the Wi-Fi. And so I literally had, usually I might have a bar. I had zero, like nothing. There was nothing in the corner. Could not connect to Wi-Fi. Couldn't listen to anything. Because um, I don't download all the music on my phone because it takes up a lot of storage. Couldn't play a podcast. Like I would have to go back out, go outside, get service, download stuff, come back in. And I was like, nope, nope. I was just frustrated. I was already frustrated from my far walk in the heat 
gotten there and I was on the treadmill trying to connect to Wi-Fi. It would not it wasn't even available like to connect. So mad. So I went into the store to get a couple candles and um I had a cherry coke because I wanted it. <sighs> oh my god. So annoyed. So I'm here making my breakfast. And um Andrew just texted text me that he's gonna be shipping his car on friday which is oh my gosh it just means everything's so real that's just oh my god anyway i'm just so frustrated like i'm just so frustrated about the gym and the heat and i'm moving to the south and i'm gonna be pissed because it's gonna be hot so often Ugh! but anyway um i'm gonna make my breakfast and i need to take a shower um and then i may mop or whatever i just want to sit down and read but i have to do this is why Oh my god, I need to film, but I just like, don't want to. I am had an annoying start to my day, and I just want to sit on the couch, and I can't do that. So I hopefully can film two, I don't even know, I have a long list, so I'm going to pick two shorter things to film, then I'm going to lay on the couch and edit at least one of them. I'm waiting for a sponsor to approve a video that like I wish would have gone up last week, but they're taking forever. I'm like, I'm sending it to you fast enough. Get on it. <sighs> but anyway... Not a good start to my day today, so I'll be back. Yesterday, I did not update, totally forgot. So I got home and, you know, did all my little things, filmed a video, edited. Um, and then we ended up going to the mall to look for clothes and that was a disaster. Well, um, so we were looking for things specifically to wear to this Adele concert because we're going to London um, at the end of June and we're gonna see Adele. Uh, and so I did find an outfit even though I hate how my I like the outfit itself. I don't like myself, like my body size, but I was trying on jeans and I already was like, okay, I might be this size, but let me get this bigger size just in case. And then even the bigger size, I couldn't button. <laughs> mm, it was not good, it was not good. I mean, I, I bought the outfit that I liked cause those jeans fit in the top. But I just look so wide and I just hate, I hate what I, I just hate this meat sack. Um, and then we came home and then it was time for night. Well, like we ate, Nigel ate. Then I did sprints with Angela and I got tired super early. Well, like early for me, it was like 11 and then I went to bed. So like I didn't update at all, but I'm back hopefully the gym has wi-fi today i am back to get my treadmill on and um i have a headache and i don't know why but not much to say i didn't do much reading like during sprints i listened to a little bit of red red famine the book for uh the book club but other than that i stopped because my i have my head my head was hurting and I don't know I was trying to focus and and I just listened to a podcast so didn't do much reading yesterday I'm doing sprints tonight with my friend Isabella um so hopefully I can get some reading done I don't plan on filming any videos today I just need to put one up that finally got approved and um so that's my plan so anyway let me get out of this car hopefully I can get it sweated out on the treadmill and update you later today sunny outside but i want to pretend that it's not and it's raining so i am back home looking even rougher than usual had breakfast showered i just came back downstairs and there's a smell and i don't know if it's nigel's butt so nigel we took to the vet 
last Friday because he's been like throwing up randomly and she thinks it might be like a gastrointestinal thing so she wanted to test put him on wet food for a little bit and he's been misery because it's not just wet food it's like a uh, specific intestinal kind of wet food and it smells horrific and it made his farts even worse I think that's what it is anyway I just lit a candle um <clears throat> I'm trying to like keep my hair out of the frame because it's like my I have a headache I don't know what it is I've taken I've been drinking water <sighs> Nigel is that your butt um maybe it's because I haven't had caffeine today maybe that's it anyway but I loosened my hair so it's poopy Anyway, it's his butt. Oh my god. It, it has been misery in here. This candle needs to kick it up. I, besides, I need to do the description for my video, but it's already, it was approved. I already have the thumbnail. So I just need to do the description um, of my video that's gonna go up today, which is my wrap up for May. But I am going to be reading The Killing Moon right now. This is um, for my Patreon book club. And I have only read the first chapter. So I'm only on page 14. I would like to, let's see where a chapter starts. Um, I always want to reach like a hundred, like a, but then you know a chapter won't. Okay, so if I can get to page 94, that would be the end of a chapter today. That would be my goal. That would be great. Um... So I need to do that. I only read one chapter, so I need to get into this some more. And then I have reading sprints later. I am still slowly chucking through my book commuter read book called Picks. I really, I really, I really overwhelmed myself, but um, it is what it is. I feel like I was going to tell y'all something, and I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. So I'm just going to go lay down and read this and try to get this candle to waft my way. And that's really all I plan on doing today is reading eating reading <laughs> so we can get an ice cream that you can't have, okay? Are you all right? Okay. Oh, Lord Jesus. Look at this, look at this big bunny rabbit. This is a pulling. There, there it is. We might have drove. Driven? Drove it? Driven? We just, well, Andrew just drove, drove an hour back down to Syracuse so we could get some gelato because he needs to empty <laughs> he needs to get his car gas tank below a quarter tank before Friday it's Tuesday oh Nigel what is this <laughs> he thinks he's getting gelato but <laughs> jokes on him he can't have it Came all this way and they don't have my favorite flavor which is vanilla so i'm trying coffee i know the disrespect well looky here wednesday where are we again in the car <laughs> i just got out of the gym i'm so hungry but I don't know if I said this yesterday. I don't think I updated, but yesterday the random club you saw of us going to go get gelato was like an hour from here. So Andrew only got his like official orders for us to move last Friday. And so he's shipping his car this Friday because it's gonna take time, of course, to be shipped across the sea. <laughs> he didn't have his orders when he got gas and filled up the car and your car has to be below a quarter tank of gas to ship it so tomorrow it's getting detailed because you have to have it like spotless and clean before they ship it and so he was like we need to burn gas so we went somewhere on sunday went somewhere on monday and still was like at a half tank so i was like well let's go down to here it's called syracuse and there's a great gelato spot we had just gone there like 
the other weekend. So we went back, put Nigel in the back. I was in the back with Nigel, we went down there, got gelato. They didn't have my favorite, which is vanilla, but I did get the cafe and it was really good. And then we came back and we are like right at a quarter tank. So I just got out of the gym. I'm gonna go to the pet store. And then that like, should hopefully dip below and like no we can't like siphon it out and put it in like because we have a second car but that car is unleaded and his car is diesel so anyway um between me going to the pet store and then back home and then tomorrow coming to the gym and back home should be good so i'm gonna go to the pet store i have to get nigel some more of this nasty wet food i don't know if i told y'all about that yet um and so i'm gonna go do that and i'm probably gonna get mcdonald's because i didn't eat this morning and the mcdonald's is right by the pet store oh well oh well you know what oh well He doesn't need it because he's a bad boy, but I want to get him a toy. He can at least have a few minutes to play with it <clears throat> before he destroys it. Oh, I wonder if I should get him this. Hmm. Let's see. Something he may, it may last a whole day. That's for cats. <clears throat> what can last him a day? I love this, but he would probably pull this rope out. Ooh, somebody's dog is not happy. I kind of like this one, but he'll pull these off real quick. Those eyes. Maybe this. Let's see. What's this? No, he'll pull these off. This is how I have to look for toys because he's so redonkulous. <gasps> A little lamb. Oh, he eat those ears real quick. Ooh, what about this? Now, he would be working on these, but maybe they'll hold up. The little fins or this one but this one has more thingies okay i'm gonna get i'm gonna get him this see how long it lasts i have to go get his special food normally he eats oh my god she told me they were gonna have more in and they don't have any more in she told me i need this but in wet food now i gotta go ask so they were supposed to the lady told me they were gonna have more in stock but they don't so they have this one but that's 450 to jam and then they have this one that is 370 so i'm gonna get these last four I hope it's fine. I thought it would get a little bit lower. I mean, it's like right under a quarter tank, but hopefully uh, my little drive to the gym and back tomorrow will help. If not, maybe we'll just have to sit in the car and like burn the AC or something. But it's, 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 it's right under. Okay. Oh, did I show you what I got at the store? Well, I got him this. I have my McDonald's fries in the air fryer. And this food and then i picked him up a couple treats he we can't give him treats right now but hopefully soon so i just always get him like some lamb some duck i think i got some duck i mean he likes everything and then i also got him some more toothpaste because we've been brushing our teeth more since that funky food oh and i also picked up this which is like a bug repellent spray because the gnats are still so bad and they've been eating my baby up so
practicing so he gets used to it. All of these fold out, but I've been like, on different days, sometimes I'll close one of them or the sides. So it opens on all four and it's mesh up here. And he just likes to lay, where well, he could lay like this, because this side is open, but he just wants to bunch up right here. But anyway, we're practicing, he's getting so much better. I am <clears throat> currently working on a thumbnail and I'm listening to Gates of Europe, a little of the audio. Headache again, but that's it. I need to like work on my resume, but I don't want to. But then I want to read some. So I'm gonna make this thumbnail and then like pick up a physical book. You know what I'm saying? So I made my thumbnail and I put the video up for my page views. And I was like, oh, I need to make a resume. Or I need to make a new resume. And I tried, I started trying to do that. And I got flustered, so I was like, I'm done. <laughs> so then I came in here to make myself a beverage and all my cups are dirty because I was lazy. So I gotta tidy up these dishes, make my crystal light beverage, and then I'm gonna read. That resume is just gonna have to fucking wait. It happened. I have officially become an old lady because there are some little children's, I don't like children, and they keep, so these are like townhouses. We're on the ends, so we have share a wall with a neighbor. I keep hearing like screaming and slamming up the door, running, and I'm washing dishes, I can see them running right here, like running through the yard, slamming, running, and I went over there and I said, do y'all live here because it's been empty? And they're like, yeah, which I think they're lying. And I was like, well, can you, can you keep it down and stop slamming the door because you're waking my baby? I'm like, okay, sorry. I mean, they are. My baby is Nigel. They don't need to know that. Oh, children's. Oh. Look who's free. You want mama? And I'm literally just eating some bread and butter. No, I'm not. The hot sauce is from earlier. So I'm just eating bread and butter. And it's perfect. Oh, look. <laughs> is nothing but me in the car but I gotta get ready for the gym so I gotta sing <laughs> dare you come park beside me while I'm singing asshole you gonna help me open the mail you gonna help me open okay so I forgot that I needed to wash my hair so I washed my hair so we've got a poof but I also did like twists in the back ah, who knows anyway um I got mail so we're gonna open it I know what one of these things are for sure and maybe what another one is but I don't know what this is so Let's open this one first, because it's an odd shape. I don't know what this one is. What is it, boo-boo? Come over here. Let him see you. Come here. Whatever. Little bum. So it's already like two. Haven't started reading. Like, I don't know what's going on with me. Oh, oh, I remember now. I did order this. This is a two-pack of travel adapters for the UK because we're going at the end of the month, so. That is what that is. Totally forgot. And then finally, my tabs like these nice, like muted colors. So excited! These are so beautiful. So finally got those. Okay, I was so confused. I was like, "What the hell is this?" Uh, uh, get off the couch! Get off the couch! Lay down. Lay down. Then this. What is? I don't know. What this. Sure. I don't even know what these stuff is. Oh, my candy. So when I went to Switzerland, <laughs> they had these, I don't know how you pronounce these candies. And I bought a big bag. And But first we had them at the hotel and then I found them in the store and I bought a big bag and I just finished my bag. And so I found these on Amazon. They're not a bag, but they are packs. So I hope they're good as the ones in the thing. Oh my God, I totally forgot about that. 
Why do I ship all these things separately? I guess they come from different places. Whatever. But they just be wasteful. Nigel. Okay, I think this might be a book. The shade from the book. And I think it might. Yes, yeah, so my new toxic trait is that when a book that was self-published gets an announcement that has been picked up by a traditional publisher, I have, this is my third time doing this. I'm like, let me go buy the original copy. So anyway, that book is Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia Blake. And it's just so, I really wanted this because it just looks like, it looks like a manuscript, you know? It doesn't look like a, Nigel! Nigel! It doesn't look like, like it looks like a book, but it just looks like a manuscript because it's so plain. But yeah, this tour just picked this one up and it says a love story. And I just was like, let me get it. I haven't even read, I haven't even read the Atlas Six yet. But I bought it, okay. I bought it because I know it's gonna be gone soon. And oh well, no shame. So literally don't know what this is about. And on the back it says Chicago sometime. She wanted to tell him, to teach him, every time you love, pieces of you break off and get replaced by something you steal from someone else. It seems like it's the right shape, but it's slightly different every time so that eventually, very, very quietly, and over days and days and days, you are transformed into something unrecognizable. Mm. And it happens so slowly you don't even notice, like shedding scales and making new ones. He smiled at her like, isn't it great? Yes, she thought, pained. Yes, it is perilously, perilously wonderful to suffer so sweetly with you. I don't know, that sounds, oh, this could be amazing. So I hope it is. So I'm excited about that. He's over there attacking his whale that I got him yesterday. Um, And then the other thing that is a book, I think, this is from Source Books. I don't know what this is, but let us see. This says, how do I unremember this? Unfortunately, True Stories by Danny Pellegrino. I don't know who this is. Apparently this came out already and this is an art, but it came out, no, okay, wait. It says three eight twenty two, but is that is that American or is that European? Because that could mean August third twenty two. I need to look it up. No, it says March <laughs> March two thousand twenty two. So I don't even know what this is. I guess they just they just sent it. It doesn't have a a letter or anything. I don't. I really don't know who this is. Let's see what it says. Um. Think of the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you. Was it the time your high school cheer squad taunted you in front of the entire town? Was it the time your best friend's mom caught you streaking in your all-naked self-conscious glory? What about the time you accidentally threw a tooth at your dry cleaner or took an urn into Coles from some holiday shopping for Danny Pellegrino? The answer is all of the above. Wow. All right. Well, I didn't plan to read this, but I mean, I don't know if I will. I might just... It's so funny that I'm getting this so, like, did it get lost? I'm not sure. Let me look at the stamp. It just says book sample. No, they mailed it at the end of May. I mean, thank you. Don't know if I want to read this one, but I do like the colors, it's very fun. So thank you to Source Books. And the last thing is a pair of shorts. Hopefully it fit. Um, they are like, Nigel. Why are you trying to eat the eyeball? We just can't enjoy the whale. Uh, after, like workout shorts. And yeah, so I don't really have a, I don't really wear workout shorts, but I wanted these and I have had these before. Okay, oh my God, that looks, these look so big. What size did I get? But they look big, but they'll probably fit me because I got an extra large because last time I got a medium and that was way too small and that was a while ago but I like it because they have these like spandex underneath and then the spandex is a pocket so I'm gonna try them on real quick this season of, of this body maybe I should just give up on workout shorts because they're like too big and too long I don't know I might return them Miss Ma'am got a good detail. Gotta take the little hot. This is our little island beater. 
that we'll have till we leave. It's fine. The AC doesn't work, so <laughs> not great. I'm still eating though. Hi. Okay. Uh, I like the green is looking nice on you. I was just I'm waiting. It's hot. It's not too hot. You want some? So it's 5:48 p.m. and I laid down a read and instantly. Me and Nene are tired. I woke up because Andrew called me. He's at the store. I was like, oh, I got to put my video up. So that's why my laptop was here. But um, <laughs> so like I'm always tired, but today I'm even more tired. Like what is what is going on? Why is everything working against me to read this week? Hot Nene's. What's up? Hey boo-boos. Hey boo-boos. Hello. I'm gonna try to read a little bit now. I had I had caffeine today, I don't know. The last time I was well I, I woke up and felt well rested was in 2017. So um, about that. I just, I want to read, but I am so So, is this a reading vlog or is this just a vlog? You tell me. This is not a reading vlog. <laughs> I was about to go upstairs and I realized Andrew brought mail, so I'm gonna open that. But like, I haven't, I just have barely been reading. I'm just so tired. I woke up this morning, we had breakfast and we watched an episode of the, the new like documentary series on Netflix, um, Keep Sweet, the one that's about the FLDS, so the Fundamentalist Mormons, and oof. And then I was like, towards the end of that, I was like, could not keep my eyes open. And so then I took a nap for a couple hours. Went out up, I changed out some laundry, Andrew brought mail, <sighs> and it's almost he's giving me the look but I'm just gonna open this mail that he brought me hold on so I know what one thing is I don't know what the other thing is so I have this little box which I think is my thing for my Kindle and then I don't know what this is it says printed book and I did order a book another book from Amazon but it wouldn't be here by now and then I have this package from I don't know who like it says a person's name but it doesn't say it says book sample so let's see we got two things of mail back to back love this for me <gasps> okay so <laughs> before I read it I got a finished copy of the city inside um, that I recently finished the arc of and the concepts, the ideas, I really loved. Um, but overall, the story I didn't love, but thank you to Tor.com for sending this to me. I think I'll just give this away. Um, I don't know if I should do it here or on Instagram, but I think I'll just do a giveaway from this for this nice finished copy because I think this book could definitely work for some other people. So I will be posting about that. Look out for that. So that was that. And then I think this is my, so I've seen people on TikTok, get like a basically like a little controller thing that you put on the end of your kindle and have a little remote but then also a stand and i know this is good for people with you know limited ability or like mobility Ow. or if you have arthritis or any reason and i my issue is this house is always cold and so i'm always laying under the blanket but then i have to hold my kindle and my hands out in cold so I got the little thingy a while ago, but this finally arrived so I can like basically hook it to the side of a table or whatever and put my Kindle in it and then put the little remote on my Kindle and read like that. So that's what this is. If you can see what it is, I'm excited because I just, I don't be wanting to hold it. I don't. 
so there's that. Make sure I don't lose that little piece. And then what book is this? I don't know why my new thing is to like look away. Let's see. We'll see together. <gasps> oh my god! Did someone get this for me? Oh yes! Yay! Oh my god! Greetings from Los Angeles. Hello, Los Angeles. I love the content you create. Please know you have a buddy here in SoCal and three cats who want to be Nigel's BFF. Times are rough and everyone needs a little sunshine and joy from Monica. Oh my god, Monica! Southern Cali, what's up? Ah, thank you so much. I, when we went on our last trip, so obviously we were in Ireland, so I was like so excited because every bookstore was gonna be in English. And I was looking for three middle grade books. This was one of them. I was also looking for, I think it's a Zachary Ying or Zachary Yang, the new one by Zirin Zay 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 Zhao. So sorry, I always stumble over that name. And there was a third one that I can't remember, I was looking for. Um, Anyway, then I found out that I guess a UK publisher has not picked this up yet or a European publisher and then they didn't have the other ones. So ah, I was so excited. Oh, I was looking for Witchlings by Clarabel Clarabel Ortega and they didn't have any of them. I'm like, what are y'all doing in here? And I went to like major bookstores. So this is so exciting. This, I haven't, have I read anything by Danielle Clayton? I don't think so. I think maybe the only thing I read Okay, one, that's beautiful, but look at this. Oh. Oh my God. That is so beautiful. I think the only thing of Danielle Clayton's I've read was in that anthology, the Blackout, maybe, if she was in that one, but I think that's the only thing I've read from Danielle Clayton, but like I've known of her, oh, I just, freaking I want like a print out of this that is so pretty so I really don't even know much about this except it was like magic school and uh we had a black girl and then we got a black boy um so yeah this looks great let me read the thing for you so we have 11 year old Ella is the first conjurer to attend the Arcanum Training Institute a magic school in the clouds where marvelers from around the world practice their cultural arts like brewing Indian spice elixirs and bartering with pesky Irish pixies. So being the first isn't easy. Some marvelers mistrust her magic, but eventually she finds friends and uh, let's see, in a teacher and in fellow misfits, but then there's a dangerous criminal, uh, a dangerous a dangerous criminal. Anyways, I'm so excited about this. I just want more. I love a magic school. Oh my God, look at this. It says one, one, one. Thank you. That means a series. Two, every series should be numbered on the spine. Every single one, every single one. Ah, thank you so much. I'm so excited. I have really been like, mm, I need to get back in my middle grade bag. I have a, I have a couple on my shelf that I want to read and obviously I'm anxiously awaiting the second Amari book and then I'm gonna read this oh, I don't know it's just when like middle grade has been hitting and then adult and there ha I have had a few YA gems like um Iron Widow was an un unexpected joy for me and I need to get that I need to get a copy of that and I cannot wait for the second one of that <sighs> so anyway yay oh this makes me so happy so I'm gonna go put on my laundry and then I don't, y'all, I don't know. Like, my brain, I think, is just like, bitch, why are you trying to read all of these comp like, <laughs> I'm looking at the stack of books I have for this month, and all of them, except like, the two book of the month books I have left, are all just dense reads. Why did I try to do this? I may free myself. No, because I want to, I don't know. I'm struggling, I'm struggling. I need to get, like, tape so I can start, I like to put these in here, but then they'll fall out. So I need to get like, maybe like washi tape or something and put it in there. Oh, I just, look at this cover, I love it. I love it, it's bright and fun. Oh, I love the, mm, mm. Okay, so happy. All right, yeah, I don't know what this vlog is, but it's something. <laughs> Judging, are we? That is cleaner that I just put in there.
but this is my countertop but i did just take that stuff off of there so some of that goes up there but i'm about to organize this and then show you the after also this is kind of cluttered as well and then obviously and clean all the rest but i just want to do a before and an after okay i cannot remember if thus far i have shared this in this vlog cannot remember but I got some liquid IV. They reached out to me and asked if they could send it for me to try it. So thank you for sending this. And I have already tried it, but I don't remember if I filmed it. I know I filmed Andrew trying it, but so now me. Last time I had the acai berry, but this one is passion fruit. And so this is the electrolyte drink mix that um, obviously is better at hydrating you than just water because it has electrolytes, vitamins. Um, and so it says that it's two to two and a half times faster um, hydrating than water alone. And it's hot now, so this is definitely coming in handy. So I'm about to make me up one. Now, I drink a lot of water, um, and then I drink a lot of water with Crystal Light. So I would say I the acai berry flavor was really good, but obviously electrolytes is going to have the saltiness. You know, think of like Gatorade, but this tastes better. Um, so it just won't be purely sweet. You will get that little bit of saltiness, but I really liked it. So I'm excited to try this passion fruit one. So on the thing, it does recommend one stick, because these are individual sticks like this, to 16 ounces of water. But I do a little less so I could, so it could be a little sweeter. So this is my shaker, but then I'm gonna pour it in my cup because I would prefer to sip on it like that. So I think I did like 12 ounces maybe. Or maybe, maybe I did 10. I don't even remember. Okay, there's 10 ounces. I don't know. I just think it tastes better with a little, a little less water, but yeah, who am I? So I snip this. For some reason, when I see the flavor, I expect it to be like pink or something because it says like passion fruit with this color, but it is clear. And I like things very cold. So I'm gonna shake it up with some ice. Shout out to my alma mater. Ooh, I don't know if you can even see it. College of Charleston, what, what? I mean, it is my alma mater, but you know. I still got these student loans. Just a little extra ice because that's what I want. Let me stop. lizard and loves to be outside in the middle of the day in the heat and sometimes he won't go out like he'll go out and then he'll stand at the door because he's like no but I wanted you to come with me and so I have to go outside and suffer with him in the heat it's very rude I'm like I love you boo -boo. and I'm glad you want to hang out with me but can we hang out inside in the AC okay so this is my first try of the passion fruit let's see how it tastes compared to the acai Again, you can taste a little saltiness, but it's still good. It's just like, I don't, it doesn't have an aftertaste to me like some other sports drinks. Like, it just tastes good. Do I like this one more than the last one? I don't know. But, oh, I could have torn this thing. I've got it in my cabinet, but I didn't realize. You can just tear that off really easily. Wow is well would you look at that so yeah shout out to liquid IV for sending me these i think they did send me a code or a link i'm a really bad <laughs> influencer so whatever it is i'll have it on the screen and link down below if you want to get some yourself which obviously i'm going to recommend because at least in the western hemisphere we're getting hot it is already hot and i know a lot of us are dehydrated i mean not me <laughs> not me but you are <laughs> What you're posted on um so was supposed to do something today that's not happening so i'm going to use today and catch up on stuff so i'm gonna edit i'm gonna edit this vlog and make sure i have my videos ready for this week 
you know, get captions and like just have it ready. You know what I'm saying? I do need to film my mid-year freak out tag, but I don't know if it's too early to do that since it's June 11th but like I know the middle of the year is until like the first week of July but I'm not waiting that long also does anyone know I signed up for Adobe for a year but I did it an annual build monthly so I thought I could cancel it but to cancel it I have to pay $40 to cancel it and I'm like mm, I don't want to do that so it's like do I keep it until the year ends and that would be $80 or do I cancel it early and that would be $40. Obviously, I would be saving $40, but, like, it's the part where I'm... It's the part where I'm paying $40 to cancel it early. Even though it's being billed monthly. I don't know. It's very annoying. But anyway, I went to edit, and I need... This room is a mess. It's a freaking mess. There's just stacks of books everywhere, boxes and stuff. And I would like to clean... I would just like to use this day as, like get it together day organize it here stuff that i want to get rid of throw out whatever trash you know whatever boxes i'm keeping um i don't have to arrange my shelves in any pretty way but i have like books on the floor books right there books right here it's just a mess i don't know if i'm asking myself too much but i'm at least gonna get one video <laughs> edited <laughs> just start low one video edited i'm listening to the charm offensive because my brain is just like girl we can't read all these dense things so i'm just listening to a romance not while I'm, while I'm editing because I have to like listen to myself but I was listening to a romance and playing The Sims and now I'm going to edit um this video so nothing exciting today but I will finish this audio today because it's not super long and I can tell you how I feel about that but it's a male male romance um so yeah that's it nothing too exciting it's already four o'clock because time is never on my side but I finished updating my vlog the, um, so I just need to add in whatever I record like this today and tomorrow and then it'll be ready to go. And I'm going to take a break and I'm going to do a power clean in here and organize shit because this is getting out of control and my laptop needs to charge. Anyway, so you may see that, you may not. I'm going to listen to the charm offensive though because I wasn't listening while I was editing. Sunday fun day so we have a friend over he's outside though with the dogs he brought over his dog Aurora and they're playing and Andrew is currently blowing up a little kitty pool for them hey, 
He's using his basketball pump, but it's almost finished. It's like a shake weight. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that outside for them to run around. We're having margaritas right now. I'm also baking a cake, classic box cake strawberry. Uh, I love box cake. Don't argue with me, argue with your mama. And um, I already made ice cream. There's ribs on the Traeger and Jonathan brought over the meat to make birria tacos. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. Um, I don't know how much I'll document, but I'm gonna head finish this cake and then I probably will show you some of them outside in this pool if they get in it. We'll see. Get in! Get in! Lady, get in! No? Okay. Never mind. Oh, do you, do you, are you okay if you're off? Here you're vlog? Oh my god. Hello. We love that outfit. Hello. We're, hi. <laughs> Here are these heathens. <laughs> for some reason, I thought this pool was, was even lower, but this is a little tall for a little short set. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have two. I don't cut my shirt off. They put it back. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's not full all the way. Come on, Nini. Time to cool off. It's like an idling car. A what? It's like an idling car. Oh. <laughs> Nini, it's cool water. Yay, Nini! Are you drinking the water? Ah! But no, no! What? Look at that. Oh, yeah! Beautiful! <clears throat> it's Sunday night, it's like 10, and I'm upstairs obviously. The only light is from, me, from my computer because I'm playing The Sims. So I've just finished The Charm Offensive. Finally, I finished a book. The only book I've finished this week. I'm really upset about it, but so this was a male male romance. And I just forgot the characters. <laughs> so we have Charlie, who's this white guy who has OCD and anxiety. Um, and then we have Dave, and he's Indian American, um, and he works on a reality show that's kind of like The Bachelor. So it's like one dude, bunch of girls, you know, at the end of the season, he asks one of them to, you know, be the one. So Charlie is a contestant on the show, Dave works on the show. Um, Dave is out, and he knows he's gay, Charlie is not he hadn't that hadn't even crossed his mind he is this like super smart like super rich created this company when he was super young tech dude but he's also really awkward and um so there was kind of a falling out or something that happened at his job that he had to like step back from the company and so him and like his agent or whatever were like this is a good idea for you to go on the show for you to you know get back in the public eye and like have a good persona and uh dave likes working on the show because he like tr believes in like happily ever after so dave ends up having to work directly with charlie um and dave recently well was it six months or six weeks <clears throat> broke up with another guy who also works on the show so that's the premise of the book. And we do get dual perspectives, which I love. And I did really have some like laugh out loud moments listening to it, just like interactions between them because Charlie would be so awkward and Dave is just like so not awkward and just very like vibrant and, and this big personality and Charlie's very like stiff and Dave is trying to help him like come out of his shell so he's not so awkward on TV with like the ladies. But you know, this is a romance. So as time goes, Charlie's realizing, you know, having feelings and he's having to address um, sexuality and like think of those things. So what I liked about this was the, um, so like I said, Charlie has OCD, he has anxiety, Dave deals with depression. So I liked um, that and that it was very realistic because like Dave, 
is like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get therapy, I'm gonna get help, and then he doesn't. Um, and that's real, you know? Sometimes you know you need help and people don't always, even if they can, they don't always want to or don't always make it a priority. And then, you know, just I have anxiety, so relating to those struggles from Charlie as well. I cannot say if o the OCD representation was good or not because I do not have any OCD but um for overall I did like those and then I thought that Charlie and Dave their chemistry felt authentic to me um and I felt like they were a good match especially because you know Charlie is more of the closed up and Dave was like this big bright personality to help him come out of his shell and they had just some really sweet moments and Charlie you know, was maybe a little less experienced in certain avenues, but Dave really helped him through that and was just really patient, really kind, really sweet. These are some really cute moments. My, I don't think this book was super long, but I felt, I think because with the premise of the reality show, like that was a big part of the story, which is fine because Dave worked on the reality show so we got to see them together all the time. If he hadn't worked on the reality show and we focused on that so much, it wouldn't have, uh, been as great but excuse me I think that the reality show was going on for so long that I kind of felt I was like dang when are we gonna get to the end of this reality show so he can wake up and know that he wants Dave and not these ladies I don't know um I thought I was gonna finish it last night and then I looked down I was like looked at the audiobook because I listened to it it was on script and I was like oh, how do I still have this many more chapters to go but so overall, I thought it was really fun and enjoyable. I don't know, it's just like, there wasn't a wow factor that like made it overwhelmingly amazing for me. Um, I would give it like a 3.5 because there's nothing, besides that one thing, there's not like huge things that stand out that I didn't like, but there's also not something that I'm just like, I'm obsessed, I love y'all, like, you know? But it was enjoyable. Um, like I said, it was on script. I feel like the the, the narrator for Dave, excuse me, the narrator for Dave, I feel like I've heard him before. Maybe he was a narrator for the dude in Dating Dr. Dill. I'm not certain, but I like, I like his voice and um, I like their, their friends and the people around them who are obviously like, we know what's happening here. Even if y'all want to deny your feelings or want to pretend that nothing's happening. I always love those when they're like, yeah, we're not surprised. So yeah, I think it was a really fun one. So I'm just happy. Maybe I just needed something short to read, but I'm hoping that going into this week, I can read more, like get back into my normal groove. So that's it for this vlog. It was really just a vlog and not a reading vlog, but I finished one book, so I'm gonna call it a reading vlog, hey, hey. Um, but I think that's it. You know, it's been an interesting week. Anyway, so wrap ups from this. If you wanna try some liquid IV and order it online, use my code, which is said by Jess. The link is in the description and you get 20% off. I'm pretty sure i'll have to look at the thing again the email but check that out um thank you liquid iv for sending me that product for sponsoring this video and um yeah that's it so i hope you've had a good week i hope you read more than me stay blessed hydrated moisturized and sunscreen and i'll see you in my next one bye